question I have for you is after seeing that type of face off, anything different that you noticed with Shakur nothing, or same old, same old? Nothing different from the first face off. You know, I, mm -hmm. he actually said worse in the first face off. Only thing different was he tried to touch the belt and I politely moved his hand from our belt. <laughs> you know, but right. but that's about it, really. Like I don't, I don't get into it. It seemed like it seemed like most, more, more of his crew did more of the talking anyway. Right. So, and then all I did, all I did was just amp him up. But for me, I roll, you know, I roll alone, or, or I roll, roll with a small circle. So, it don't really bother me at all. I mean, like I said, I heard, I've heard it all. I've been through it all. Is this the Shakur you know, or you think he's acting out of character at this point? No, nah, this is kind of a bit of both. It's a bit of both. Okay. Like, Shakur does get like this at times, you know, we've seen it in the past. But, you know, he's just trying to set a fight. He's just trying to set a fight. He's trying to boost that man up rightfully so, which is cool. I mean, I, I expect that, but at the end of the day, we got to do the fighting. You know, no one else can go, go out there. And like you said, no one, my team can't fight for me. His team can't fight for him. And when you talk about mind games that he may be trying to play, do you think Bomac is actually getting to him a little bit? He was talking oh, more to Bomac than you. Bomac going to try to get under everybody's skin. <laughs> That's just Bomac. Bomac going to try to get under everybody's skin. But like I said, at the end of the day, our, our teams, we all know each other. So to me, it's all fun and games. Like I said, it, it didn't get ugly. We didn't, no one no one started shoving each other and, and, and things of that nature. So it's cool. It's cool. The last question, like you mentioned, you had family down here in Atlanta. You was at Mustafa's gym. What do you think about that gym? Because you mentioned it had an old school feel. I love that gym. Because it, it may be small, but it gets the job done. So shout out to Mustafa's gym. It's like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the scene when um, Apollo Creed took Rocky to the ghetto, to the hood, and okay. you know, work on his movement and get him, get him some, get him some of that, 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 black, that black rhythm and his arsenal to, to face against a couple lanes. So that's, what the, that, like, that's the type of gym that I came up in. You know what I mean? I came up in a gym where it was literally blood, sweat, and tears. So yeah. shout out to Mustafa's gym. Shout out to Atlanta for um, the, the hospitality. And I will be back. All right, so you're repping New York. We know the Knicks got a double overtime win. Yes. So we can make sure we get a win from you on Saturday? Oh, yeah. Got to represent New York. We're trying, we trying to go on victories all week. All week, we're trying to get these victories. So, yeah, got to represent for New York. Appreciate you, Jamal. Best of Appreciate luck on Saturday. You. Thank you. Thank you.